Hi Leo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your June tarot reading. I'm using the Celtic Tarot, the Light Sears Tarot, and the Lenormand here. So let's find out what's going on for you this month, Leo. Let's put your vibes in there. Oh, I just got an itch right at the back of my... Oh, someone wants to talk to you. Leo, 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 June 2021. Sometimes I have my eyes closed for a while because I'm, you know, I, I'm seeing other images. I'm not focusing. So I have to focus for a second and, and see your image, you know, whether it's the word Leo, a lion, sun, sun even, that relates to you, your energy. Tell me for Leo in June, what's, what do they need to know? What does Leo need to know? Woo! <laughs> Whoa, flow right out of there. Okay, so I'll put that one there. And this one goes up here. So let's see what we have here for you. Three cards, Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. So this is a new relationship. Uh, this is also about being open to love, being ready, like um, ready for a relationship now. Maybe you weren't before, you know, you, ha you were busy or going through things, but now you're open to it. And one is probably going to come your way this month. Um, page of Cauldrons. So this is definitely a message. You know, you could be talking, flirting with someone. And it could be online, Page uh, or Knight of Swords. So this is definitely communication. It's, you know, it's probably online is what I'm figuring, especially right now with what's going on. It's developing, that's for sure. I think you're wanting to take action. You're wanting to meet. You could be making plans or something like that. It's the kind of relationship where there's a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, your second Ace, and Strength. Um, hmm. Could be a situation at work. There's also, it looks like a new opportunity here for you, but you are, are not ready for it. You don't want to face it um, or deal with it. Um, you could be hmm. you know this could be an opportunity for you to uh, I get the feeling it's travel. It's, it's maybe going an opportunity to work somewhere else is what I'm thinking this is. Um, also, um, I think it's an offer coming in and I don't know, you, you don't want to, I get the feeling you don't want to change, you know, everything's going smooth and there's something about it that's changed and you're not really ready for it. This could be happening right at the beginning of June, okay? Um, this could require strength to deal with it. I think you are ready for it. You don't think you are, but I think you are. It just requires strength and courage. You know, um, it's a it could be challenging because it's new. You don't know uh, about it. Maybe you don't know anyone there. You know, it's all new. And so you got to do everything all over again is perhaps the challenge of it. And that's the part you're really not into. You know, you're, you could be very comfortable where you are now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, 
Well, this person that you're communicating with could be a water sign. We have the king of cauldrons. Uh, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio person. It doesn't have to be. This person, had, you know, all their actions are based on how they feel about it. You know, that's what drives them is their feelings and how it feels to them, you know. they. It's not based on facts. It's not based on... But there is something coming together here, a relationship coming together. You could be making long-term goals and plans here with the Ten of Cups. Um, I also get the feeling there's there could be another relationship. You're exiting. Uh, you know, maybe that's what's going on with the Two of Swords here. You're... you're to go forward with this, you need to cut something else out, right? And I you're, I don't feel like you're re quite ready. You are ready, but you're reluctant. You're reluctant, I guess, okay? But wow, here, there is definitely a relationship starting. There's something to celebrate. Um, you're making long-term plans, you know, this is really something. There's a lot of passion here. Uh, it, you know, it could be someone who is very sensitive as well. So this is another reason why the strength card is in here. It's, you know, she doesn't need a leash around this dragon. Uh, this dragon trusts her, you know, and she trusted. It could just kill her in a second. And, and so, you know, there's a common respect, a mutual respect here. She treats this dragon with respect and in kind. It looks out for her, protects her. So there's a gentleness here, a gentleness. Let's see what else we got here for you, Leo. The star. The two of shields, another two. So here's a meeting. And the magician. Hmm. Mm hmm. I gotta tell you at this time, Leo, if there's anything you're you dream of having, now is the time. You can have it. You know, you kind of think to yourself, well, I've always wanted to, but you know, I figured down the road. The, the opportunity is coming now in June and July. Um, and, and it's up to you to take it. It's up to you to make something out of it. You know, here it is. You, you have a, a, it's even a choice with the magician. It says you have all the skills and abilities to do this, to, to manifest it. And manifesting is taking an idea and, putting it into reality, you know, and so with the star, there's something you've always dreamed of, you've really wanted. I also feel like there's a certain amount of healing going on here from an old relationship. Um, yeah. But anyway, you're healing. You're feeling fantastic. You're going after your dreams now. You know, you have a, a lot of faith and, and uh, optimism about what you're doing. Okay. Especially with, you know, a companion. A companion makes all things better, easier. You know, when you have to do a job and a friend helps you and it just makes the job easier. It's the same with a companion in life. You know, you get to enjoy it together. Um, you have the two of pentacles here. So there could be a meeting. All right. Um, the, you know, and you may have, this says juggling, right? You have to juggle. You may have to borrow from Peter to pay Paul to pull this off. What you're trying to uh, get together, what you're trying to proceed with here. Let's try and find out what this all is. 
Ugh. Uh, you know, I also get the feeling that you, this communication up here at the top uh, with the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords, um, it, it could be an air sign you're communicating with, um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But this person makes you think, you know. They challenge your mind and you like that. You might even be turned on by that, you know. It's a lot of passion happening here, right? Come on, tell me. What's going on with the Ace of Wands? I feel like this one too. Ah! <laughs> okay, first of all, there was this. The Tower. So, I think that this is what's going on with this Two of Swords, okay? Um, something is changing. I think something is changing and it's hard for, harder for you to deal with maybe than other people. It's not so hard for other people, but for you, this is a difficult change for you. Um, justice. So it says you're going to get just a set of the situation. This might be a good tower for you too. Sometimes things come in and happen out of nowhere. And you're like, you're not going to believe what happened. The tower isn't just things falling apart. But what it does, it releases us from a confining situation. Something we were not comfortable in. Something that wasn't really grounded strong something here okay and it says that you're going to get justice you're um i think it's the it's going to work in your favor wow <gasps> look at that leo there you are ace of wands and you king of wands you know this is what i thought of when i was thinking of you the lion um You could win a competition. You could win a dispute. There could be a dispute or a, a something, someone challenging your character, perhaps. I'm not sure what it is. Also, like I said, the tower can be a good shock. And, you know, you get a call out of nowhere. You, you, um... I get the feeling there's a change at work or something like that. And it, you know, this is the, it requires strength and gentleness. You, you don't need to pull the dragon, the lion out. And because you're going to get justice in your favor and it's going to create some new opportunity, um, almost a reward in a way you know granted something you're going to be granted something that's i got i got that's what i got the feeling of hmm knight of pentacles so this is uh, this King of Cups relationship. Um, here's the Two of Swords again. I, I think that you might, Leo, you might have trouble with confrontation, with dealing with things, specifically in communication, when there's any sort of, um, I don't know, you just... You know, I find me, like I'm in my 50s and I find younger people, you know, 35 and under, a lot of people have, have a lot of difficulty with confronting the simplest things, just, just calling you back or telling you no. They'd rather not call you, not talk to you than tell you no. You know, it's very, very difficult <laughs> and, and Meanwhile, you're waiting for an answer, and it's like, are you not going to call me back and let me know what's going on? Um, not saying that all of you guys are like that, but there is, I think that you're trying to, I think that you're trying to solve this 
slowly, you know, you're trying to figure it out. You've probably grown a lot in the past maybe year and um, matured a lot, you know. Uh, taking things slowly, I think you are progressing in your stability like you've moved from the page to the night right you you're learning you're gaining experience and knowledge along the way that's helping you um with just could be anxiety or um i'm not sure but you're 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 working you're 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 developing skills here okay and then you have the judgment and like i said you're maturing you're ready for the next like life chapter i want to say the next maturity level like you know when we go from infant to child and then child to teen and then you know into young adults and that sort of thing we grow each time we get more responsibilities more freedoms more um understanding a better about life ourselves you know yada yada this is one of these moments for you you're ascending to a higher level of consciousness as a person as a person so if you're a young person you might be ready to be a parent if you're if you're a parent your kids might be just moving out of the nest and you're ready to start your own life again you know uh there you know there's different stages it's like a stage a rite of passage kind of thing and i think you're taking the blindfold off you know, you're realizing it's not as bad as you were, it is in your head. You know, you're realizing you're, you're uh, developing skills. Like I said, slowly, you're picking them up. You're um, retaining things and, and coming to your, you know, uh, mature conclusions, I guess. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Oh, I <laughs> just dropped them right out of my hand. <laughs> so, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're working, you're trying, there's a dream you want to manifest now. You, you're starting to believe you can do it. This is the thing. You you have a lot more faith in yourself, like maybe than you did before back here with the two of swords and the tower and all that. You're, you're starting to realize that you can do it. You have a lot of, and you can balance it all. Like you're thinking, okay, like I can keep it all under control. I got it. I got my debits and my credits. And you're starting to get it under control better and um here it shows you working really hard you're putting a lot of time and energy into what you're trying to manifest here as the magician you're putting the time and energy in here you're working hard you're really focused you know you may you may be like spending all your spare time or your work time, you know, maybe this is at work, developing, you're in the learning curve, learning this new job, right? Um, what else? You gotta pull, you got a whole mitt full here, Leo. <laughs> hmm. We have a couple repeat cards. So I think you definitely have difficulty with anxiety or fear of failure or um
perhaps any little mistakes that you're making because when we're in the learning curve, that's, that's it. We're in the learning curve, right? And we do make mistakes and we learn from them. But there's something here that um, you're struggling with. And I think it's in the, the realm of relationships um uh, having that balance i think you really want to be in relationship and a, have a companion do this as a team you know work towards something together um i see that i think too you struggle to say to talk about your feelings like your deep feelings perhaps you may struggle with that what you're really feeling um, in your heart uh, perhaps it could make you feel vulnerable or something like that but I'm gonna tell you from experience it's absolutely freeing uplifting those anchors and weights come off when you because what's the worst thing that can happen is they say now that's not what I want Okay, it's disappointment, but now you can, you know, move forward, whatever, give it a go, you know, always try, always try. Anyhow, here's the two of pentacles again, okay? So here we are down here. I also think you worry about failing. Like I said, you, you are, you're Leo. You are a manifester because you're a fire sign. It's all about, fire signs are all about, you know, manifesting, taking action, reinventing themselves, moving. You know, if you think about a flame, eh? They're always moving, new things. And I think you're a little worried you won't be able to keep everything in balance. You, you will get yourself caught or, you know, it's hard, it's hard juggling, you know, your job and your money and your house and the mortgage and, and like a lot of things here, right? Responsibilities. It's hard juggling all these responsibilities. It might be difficult at first, yet might ask for help and you should ask for help. I don't know how to handle this. Um, you know, I've had panic attacks before and I've had to call a girlfriend and say, okay, talk me off the ledge. I'm freaking out. You know, because we all have something that's really hard to deal with for us, you know, but for others, it's like, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Like what we'll do is we'll, you know, and they help you just step by step, <sighs> you know, you're worried you're not going to be able to get all this under control to, to be able to steer in the direction you want to go because the chariot is about getting these two horses to go in the same direction to to complement each other to agree but they're very opposite they're polar opposites and one wants to go this way one wants to go that way and so you're really wanting to work together you know to um, cause I feel like there's two sides of yourself here and that is explained back here. This, at first, this transition for you, this ascension into, you know, the next level of maturity and responsibility uh, might be difficult for you at first. Okay. Um, but at, like I said, ask for help. Uh, you probably have friends, family around you. Because like I said, I've, I've had to call a girlfriend before and say, Oh, I'm bad again. It's all going to fall apart. I don't know what to do. But it's not. It's not. You're doing it. You're doing it now. You know, you need to have a little more faith in yourself. 
that faith that you had when you began when you when you thought about geez i'd really like to i've always wanted to you know and and you start working on it and this is the thing sometimes when we start forward with our plan there are going to be hiccups there are going to be you know challenges and that doesn't mean you're you're stopped you're that doesn't mean anything and it just means that you're going to perfect this you're going to uh get better and it could be there's something could be something about it that could be stressful though it could be stressful I think you're transitioning. I really do. Um, maturing in some way. But I think at first it could feel overwhelming. But your friends and family, you, you're, there's a relationship starting here for you. It looks like you're really happy. Things are starting to ha happen. And just take it day by day, man. You know? woman <laughs> tell me for leo what is going on going on going on tell me Ooh, that's too many it's too many it's like seven or something just give me a couple here tell me for leo or one doesn't matter thank you Whew. The young man and you have it here too with the knight of cups you you could be falling for someone okay someone falling for you there's definitely feelings developing you want to express your heart you're hoping to win this could be a little bit of up and down up and down you know it says take it slow take it slow don't be in a rush um and also they may have different dreams different ideas than you do you know and you might worry oh geez they're not gonna want to have a farm or they're not gonna <laughs> move to ireland i don't know but take it easy just enjoy it for now um enjoy being in love enjoy being in love don't worry about you know way down there just stay here stay here right now okay that's really nice so, so there's a new relationship starting feelings are stirring don't get in your head too much just enjoy it and um let it flow let it flow anyway leo if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right now i'm doing a big project about a school bus and i'm currently converting it into a camper home and um, i'm building everything from scratch the bed the storage the cupboards everything and i've been doing pictures and videos that i'm going to share with you uh about how i did it i'm not saying my way is the right way that is for sure you know um but um anyway i just want to share that with you and comment below and i'll talk to you soon bye now